Hello, here is a problem on revenue. A student had requested and so there is one and I've put it very simple um, because I think putting simple numbers here helps to understand the concept and you can do difficult problems from your book, correct? Now here's an easy one. Now the problem says Nancy owns a hardware store for every increase in 15 cents in the price of a package of batteries, she estimates that sales decrease by 20 packages per day. The store normally sells 840 packages of batteries per day at $1.06 per package. So, kind of revenue problem. Revenue is that when you sell anything, then you get some money from it, right? And the money or the revenue earned is number of pieces sold times its cost of each piece, right? So here we say if the cost is $6 per package, then the sales is 840 packages and therefore the revenue is 840 times $6 and we get our revenue in dollars, correct. Now the question says that if you increase the cost from $6 to $6.15, then instead of selling 840 packages, you're able to sell only 820, 20 less packages. Then your revenue will be 820 times, the cost will be this times 6.15, and then you can calculate that value. Well, it could be increase of 50 cents, like 15 cents, then 15 times two, 15 cents that means 30 cents okay so if you increase the cost to six dollars 30 cents how many packages will be sold 840 minus 20 times 2 which is 40 correct so you realize that as you increase the price for every 15 cent you lose a sale by every 20 packages Okay, let me kind of make a table for you so that you understand what I'm trying to say. Initially, they found that here, let me write down the number of items sold. And here, let me write uh, cost. Cost per item. Correct? So, initially, we have this kind of a scenario that uh, number of items sold are 840. I could have written cost first, but let me do the reverse way. And the price was $6. Well, let me get rid of these decimals and write 600 cents. So our cost is in cents, okay? And the item sold are in numbers. So we have 600 cents. Now, what is the revenue? Okay, revenue again will be in cents now, okay? <laughs> Fine. So revenue in cents, okay? Well, you can always convert to dollars. That's not difficult. Correct. So we will do this multiplication using calculator. So we get 840 times 600, which is a big number, 504,000. So we get 504,000. So many cents, okay? When to dollars, it's easy, right? We'll say $5,040, correct? Now, okay, fine. Now, if I increase the price by 15 cents, right? So that means I do 60 plus 15, then it becomes 840 minus 20, correct? For every increase, of 15 cents, it decreases by 20, that means it is 820, right? So I'll now multiply 820 times 615 and write down what do I get? 504, 300, you get more. 504, 300. So more revenue, right? So if you have lesser sale, it doesn't matter, you're charging more, you're making more revenue, correct? Now let me go ahead and say we used to 840 minus, uh, no, first we should change the price, right? This is 600 plus increase not by 15, but two times 15. Two times 15 is 30, right? So it will reduce by two times 20, which is 40, correct? So 840 minus 40 is 800, and this is 630. So we'll do 800 times 630, 
and we get 504,000 just as the previous one 504,000 okay good job now we'll again increase by another 15 cents that means we'll do 600 plus 15 will make it 45 cents this will reduce further by another 20 right so we get here 840 minus 60 this time right so we'll do 840 minus 60 so if you take away 40 it is 800 20 more 780 right so we'll do 780 times 645 645 and we get 50300 okay oh that's much lesser right 50300 even lesser so from here as far as we have done we find that this probably is a very good idea and it gives us kind of maximum thing right but this was like hit and trial method uh, we are not very sure whether that is always working or not okay so what we will do now is try to do it algebraically write down our equation and then solve for it okay so what equation can you make out from here revenue is what item sold into the cost right so we'll write our function now as revenue r equals to item sold so how many items are being sold if you make in general n times increase in price so it reduces by n times 20 right so items sold will be 840 minus 20 n is it okay this is the number of items sold and cost of each of these items should be more by 15 cents n times right so it will be 600 plus 15 n correct so that becomes my revenue function right so the question was which mean revenue function here we are that's my revenue function now the question is actually extended and many times you'll find to know what is the maximum revenue when will it be what is the cost at which we'll earn most all things like that okay now to find a maximum from a factor <coughs> equation like this i prefer to find the mid value well some people may expand it and then do completing the squares and get it in vertex form and then find the answer that's also correct most of the time that is what is expected and seen but my advice is that use factored form in the best possible way and what what is that now here we can find two points for same y value in a parabola if you find two points for the same y value then the mean value gives you axis of symmetry that is the principle or the characteristics of parabola which we are going to exploit here do you understand <laughs> okay now here well the best point is x intercept kind of zero right so when is this zero what value of n will make this zero so the value of n that makes it zero will be 840 divided by 20 right so we say 840 minus 20 equals to zero so we'll take 20 that side so 840 equals to 20n so n is 840 divided by 20 correct so 0 0 cancels and we are left with 42 84 divided by 2 now here how can we get the 0 the 0 will be we'll take this side okay that becomes negative right so negative 600 divided by 15 right so you know 15 times 2 is 30 times 4 will be 60 right so this gives us 40 correct very good values to work with and uh, so what is the middle value of these two well this is minus 40 right so what is the middle value of these two add them divide by 2 you get the center point right so see only minus 40 can give you 0 if I do minus 40 times 15 I get minus 60 600 so that makes it 0 if I do 20 times 42 well I get 842 that makes this 0 so the average of these two is 42 plus minus 40 divided by 2 right which is 2 divided by 2 and which is equals to 1 that means 1 time 15 cents is a good option so for every increase in 15 cents just one increase in 15 cents will do the job in this particular case correct and we also saw it here correct so the price should be how much so we say cost cost from here will be maximum cost should be equals to 600 plus 
15 times 1 which is 615 cents right or we say dollar 6.15 does it make sense to you and revenue is when I plug in NS1 here we do 840 minus 20 is 820 right which we did here and this is 600 plus 15 which we did here we get 503 this thing. so revenue is revenue for this cost of 615 I can write right correct in dollars I'm writing now but the equation is here in cents doesn't matter but I'm writing all the things in dollars now will be dollar 500 or oh, 5043 that's your answer the maximum revenue so see how we can do revenue problems in this form you can do mathematically in a form of table check the values out or you can make an equation and then find the mid value so that you get axis of symmetry this is axis of symmetry for n equals to this right and it's a very effective way of solving problems and then find the revenue for that value or you could go the long way expand it get it in standard form after standard form also you have an option you can use minus b by 2a remember minus b by 2a that gives you maximum or minimum whatever the case may be right you are ma getting maximum here why because minus n and this when multiplied gives you negative a leading coefficient therefore in this case the graph will be like this correct correct so you are expecting a maximum here correct this is your maximum so that's how it is and I hope you understand these different strategies and uh, find a good way of solving these kind of questions okay have a good look at it if you have any difficulties put your comments and I'll be glad to answer them Thank you.